There's been a lot of concern about autism and vaccinations or immunizations. And there's been several studies that have actually been quite good studies done recently to try and answer that question. A lot of people look back to the study that was done in England that suggested there was a link between the MMR vaccine and autism. However, that study has been reproduced and been found to be uh, false. So first, the study itself was not done well. And so most of the actual authors took their name off the paper. And then since then, the actual article has been taken out of the journal as well. And so that uh, complete article has been discredited. And since then, other scientists and groups have actually tried to do studies to look at the connection between autism and vaccines and have found no um, connection at this point. It's a hard thing because I think um, if you believe that vaccinations are associated with autism, it gives a sense of control that if you don't vaccinate your child, um, you may prevent autism. Unfortunately, I think that's really not the case and that there are a lot of factors that contribute to autism and unfortunately we don't understand them as well as we'd like to. Um, and we know that there's some genetic and probably some environmental components as well. And we're going to continue to study and try and figure out what the, the actual connections are. But at this time, it looks like vaccines are not that connection. So um, I really do believe it is in the best interest to continue vaccinating kids to help prevent some of those diseases that they really can get and can be life-threatening, especially at the young ages um, when we do vaccinate them.